with them. My name is Destiny and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and start off with a new series and we'll be building a complete Netflix clone of this one. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this video. So all you need to do is drop a like and consider subscribing as it would really mean the world to me. So let's get started. We're going to be creating a Netflix clone. So just like the original Netflix, we're going to have a duplicate of it. And note, it's going to do everything that the original Netflix does from signing up to creating profiles, watching movies and all that. So without wasting any more time, I want to go ahead and test it out. So you guys will see what the end product of this project is going to look like. So over here at port 8000, I've got um, my front page. So what I just need to do over here is either sign in or create a new account but firstly let's click on the sign in button and as you can see it brings up the login page so let's say we don't have an account we could just come over to sign up and create a new account so i'm just gonna fill in the form so as you can see i'm creating this account with a password testing three to one and the confirm password testing three to one so all i need to do is just hit the sign up button and it will successfully create my account and it redirects me to the profile page so in the profile page just like the original netflix what we need to do is create a new profile either for ourselves or for anybody else that's going to be watching in the same account so for example let's say i want to create a new profile for someone and let's say their name is fuller hendrix so maturity level should be all which means that um they can either see kids movie or adult movie so this person over here can either see kids movie or or adult movie when the maturity level is in all so what we need to do is click on create profile so as you can see we've got fuller hendrix over here now so what we can do is just click on this and what do you notice it brings us to another page where we have some movies listed out over here and notes these are dummy movies so this movies over here would only be shown to um the maturity level of all so how about we want to create a new profile for my baby and let's say the name of my baby is my baby whatever then let's change the maturity level to kids and hit the create profile so over here now you can see that we now have my baby so how about i open up this and what do you notice now we have different movies so for the kids um profile for the kids maturity level they get their own movies and for the adults which is full of hendrix they also get their own movies so we don't mix things up so let's go ahead and play a move from here and see what we've got so Note these are these aren't real movies, so I didn't upload any real movie to it. I just uploaded Dobby placeholder videos and all that to it. So if you build out your own, you can go ahead and actually upload real movies to it and host it on Heroku or whatever. So I'm just gonna click on this first one on over here, and what do you notice? It brings up the detail of the movie, like the name of the movie, the description, and more description down here and all that. So what we can just do is hit the play button. So when we hit the play button, what do you notice? It it takes us to another page and this page is the page where we're gonna watch the movie from so it's just a dummy video now when I hit a play button what do you notice the movie starts playing or the dummy video starts playing so there is no sound in this one that's why you can hear any sound but there's but if you have um, like a video that has sounds in it you're gonna hear um, sounds in it so let me just get back as you can see you can either pause you can forward it you can mute you can do a lot of things you can view it in the full screen and you can download it to your pc directly okay so i want to get back to the baby account this is it over here so when i open this account up you can see that we have this movie luca we have this one and then and else so what we can do is go ahead and open up luca over here and we can just play it so the detail page just as before the name the description the more descriptions and the image over here so when we hit the play button what do you notice it opens up its own movie now over here we just hit the play button and you see it starts um playing so there is no sound on this one too but if you have a video that has sounds definitely you're gonna hear sound so this is it we could also go ahead and log out and we could just sign out and it brings us back to this page we can sign in again okay let's say i want to sign in with another account i don't know if i've got this account okay i don't know have it okay so right now let's get let's get to the admin page which is the database and see what we have over there so in the database we simply have the authentication that stores the email addresses of all the users 
for example you can see that we have 17 email addresses and that's because when you want to sign up you use your email address so it's automatically stores it here and we also have this app over here which is called netflix app which stores the movies so these are all the movies luca um, Eternals, Pope, and all that. So if we open up one of these movies, now you can see that we have the title, we have the description. So, um, okay, let me just come over here now and open this up so you're gonna see what I'm talking about. So let me open up um, Eternals. I think it should be a baby account. This should be it. Okay, so you can see Eternals over here. That's what we've got here. You can see the description. That's what loading up. Okay, okay, this is just a dummy um, placeholder. You can see the UUID, which automatically specifies that this movie is not the same with any other one. And you can set the type. It's a single movie. You can add seasonal movies. And over here, you're going to have like the episodes and all that's down here so so the next thing we've got now is the video so i tried adding up some videos here um what you can do is either click on this or you could come over to this videos over here to add it but for now let's just hold on to that so for the like the flyer something like this for the flyer or the thumbnail the image whatever you want to call it you could choose an image for it and the age limit this is where we specify it from then you can go ahead and delete this movie or you save it so that's it for the movies now coming over to the profiles you see i don't know if you remember fuller hendrix that i showed you earlier this is where his profile um got stored so as you can see the age limit is all and you can change it to kids from the back end and all that you have access to everything so each profile that gets created gets stored in the back end and also for the users we can see all our users over here um the user that we created just now that has two profiles my baby and fuller hendrix this is it over here so as you can see my baby and fuller hendrix is linked to the profile that we just created hopefully you understand what's going on so with this now we now have the videos and what the video simply does is help you add more videos um i can go ahead and delete out this so i'm upload it again then you can see so i'm gonna delete this and the next thing i can do is add a new video and let's say i want to call this new video so i call this new video and for the choose file i'm just gonna add let's just say i want to add something else just like what we've got before um okay okay let's say i want to add this one over here i'm going to add that it has sound now i'm going to save this so when it, when you add a new video you can now add a movie so let me add a new movie and i'm going to call this new movie new movie and description let me just add up this new movie over here it's a dummy thing and for the type let's say it's a single movie and for the video now we're going to choose the new video hopefully you understand then for the flyer let's go ahead and choose a, a particular flyer for it let's just say i want to pick up that one and the age limit is all so we save this movie we come over here we get back here and refresh from this adults page now what do you notice we get the, the new movie on our side so when we click on this movie now you see the new movie the the blah 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 the description and all that so we can go ahead and play this now so we play this so as you can see this one i've got some sounds so it's actually playing i don't know if you can hear the sound let me bring the mic closer so you can hear it Okay, so that's it for the sound. If you have a sound, it's gonna play. I let me just go ahead and pause this. Okay, so you could add more videos, you can add whatever you want. For example, I've got some movies on my desktop. Let me just um head over to my desktop and show you. So I've got um I think I've got like two movies that I wanted to use for this. I've got this one over here, and I've got a tunnels, some really nice movies. So you could go ahead and add real movies if you want. And for the sites and the social accounts, this is what comes in with the authentication package that we used. In this video, we didn't make use of this, but we're gonna make use of this in other videos. So what it simply does is allow you log in with your Google account on your Facebook account and all that. So I think that's pretty much it for the introduction and the demo. Hopefully you guys are gonna learn a lot of things in view of this. You're gonna learn how to work with function-based views. You're gonna learn how to work with URLs, how to work with templates, how to work with a whole lot of things, configuring your back end to the front end and all that. And I hope I'm gonna see you guys in the next video where we're gonna go ahead and start building out this project but for the meantime, my love, peace out.